Hello and welcome to our viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold. And here at Gold, we are in the middle of producing a brand new lecture pack titled Translating Knowledge into Practice, Creating Effective Lactation Care Plans. Um, and this brand new lecture pack, one of our speakers is here with me today, Jacqueline Kinzer. Nice to see you back here. <laughs> Yes, I'm happy to be back, Kristen. Oh, it's wonderful to have you back, back by popular de demand here at Gold. It's wonderful, wonderful. So tell me a little bit about how has your life been? Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're up to right now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm continuing my practice that I started five years ago. Uh, and so even before COVID, I worked virtually a lot with people who didn't necessarily have access to lactation consultants, you know, in their geographic location. And now it seems like we're doing a lot more of that, but it's great to be able to offer that service. And I still see people in person. Uh, I have a unique role in my community where I have the opportunity to work alongside a dentist to treats ties and I get to be a part of that experience and assisting with the lactation support after. So that's been lots of fun. And I started a podcast last January called breastfeeding talk. I have a lot of lactation consultants listen to it, which is really fun, even though I didn't intend on making it for them, they're enjoying it. So uh, it's for breastfeeding moms and lactation consultants alike. And then I just recently started an herbal supplement for supporting lactation and milk production. So that's been out for about a month now on Amazon. Well, congratulations and on your new addition to the business side there that you're having. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been a long process and something I've wanted to create for a long time instead of sort of, you know, clients chasing all sorts of different things and taking the wrong amounts and this mm -hmm. and that and just putting it all into one. Wonderful. That's a good knowledge to have and um, you're a good resource for that now as well. Fantastic. Um, you mentioned something that's really interesting to me. You said like uh, you were already online and uh, uh, creating virtual um, consult, uh, consults before COVID, right? You were already doing so to reach uh, clients in was it more rural areas who might not have uh, access to your care directly. And now with COVID, you know, this is probably increased. So tell us a little bit. You are probably already a step ahead of many other providers who had to kind of scramble and and create a virtual side of their business so they can help their clients but you had already that uh, part that aspect in place yeah yeah i was i was really glad that i didn't have to scramble and, and definitely helped a lot of colleagues to to go through the scramble themselves mm. uh, but it was good to have that and be able to adapt for you know my personal and family safety and then that of my clients as well and it definitely changed the way that i thought about care plans which is great that i'm you know presenting on that topic because uh, you know it it's a different way of working, but I actually think it can be really effective. And in some ways, uh, like I, I tend to have people send me photos and videos of what's going on with breastfeeding or their babies. And you can pause those things. You can slow them down. You can get a different look at it uh, in addition to whatever you're doing live with a family. So in some ways, I, I, I don't know if I would say I enjoy it more because I would say it's, it's definitely easier for me to assist people in person. It doesn't right. take quite as much time as it does virtually. And then there's, you know, technology hiccups and whatnot. But thankfully, I think we're at a place today where technology has really enabled, you know, more access to care, which I think is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that, although in your community too, that some uh, uh, some members of the community don't have access because they don't have access to the internet or you know Wi-Fi and or don't have a computer or even even a phone that they could use? Is that an issue in your area as well, or? You know, I would say it's not a huge issue in my area. And in the cases where that's happened, uh, families often have older children and they were given some sort of device from their schools when they were sent home to do virtual school. So the parents often have access to that, which is really great. Um, I know there's programs through like some of our local libraries and other organizations that have given out technology 
to people in need. And so I think our community has done a pretty good job of making sure people have access to that, which is great. Yeah. Um, but I never really stopped seeing people in person fully either. Mm -hmm. Um, I would always want to make sure they have some sort of access to care, no matter what it is. And if you take precautions, I think, you know, you can do it safely. I mean, knock on wood, it's worked so far for me. So <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about your presentation. So your presentation as part of the lecture pack is titled Care Plan Designed for Treating Infant Oral Dysfunction. So tell us a little bit what that means. Yeah, I, you know, I think that there's a lot of different types of care plans you can create in lactation. And when a baby has oral dysfunction, it, it changes things. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know if I, I think in most of the time it creates longer term care. It's, it's usually not a one and done situation. And so there's a lot of, a lot of guidance and, and education and counseling that has to be given along the way, which makes our role as lactation consultants really important. To, um, and we're, we're usually not the only person involved in the care team. So it, it just creates a unique dynamic where you're, you're kind of in the mix with a lot of other things uh, most of the time uh, is what I found, at least in the U.S. So, mm -hmm. and I, I would say that's true in lots of other countries from colleagues I've, you know, met and spoken to at conferences and whatnot as well. So I, I think that it's really important to have, uh, you know, there's there's a specific goal in mind and how you work worked through the process to get to that goal is unique and really important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are you directly collaborating with these other providers or is it more isolated that each provider provides their piece of the puzzle in terms of care and, and you're part of that or are you actively be able to uh, collaborate in a, in a team? Oh, that's such a good question. Uh, I think more when I started out working with infants with oral dysfunction, there was definitely a lot more collaboration, joint appointments or, or shadowing with, you know, colleagues and fellow providers. Uh, these days, I tend to not integrate as much with the body workers and just have some occasional communication if we have questions about each other's treatment plans. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, there's a dentist here that I work with, and I will actually assist with the phrenectomy procedures, um, not doing the procedure, but I hold the baby still <laughs> and mm -hmm. help with that and then offer the lactation support and guidance afterwards for that family. Uh, and so we do work really hands-on, which is great. And I know there's a lot of phrenectomy providers and phrenotomy providers out there who are doing that with lactation consultants these days. And I think it's really, really wonderful because we get to share our knowledge with each other mm -hmm. and the families feel like they get really comprehensive support. But in cases where that doesn't always happen, I still feel like the outcomes are great. Um, I, I think it's just been years of learning what it is the other people do and knowing what their role is very well and being able to articulate my role very well. And right. we just gain that mutual trust. We don't always have to talk about every single client that we work with. Wonderful. That sounds interesting as well there. Now, before I let you go here today, what little nugget of advice or wisdom can you share with our viewers? You know, I would say that no matter what stage you're at in your knowledge or your clinical practice or whatever you're doing, um, don't, don't be afraid to use what you know or go with your gut. Um, I know for me early on, I felt like I held back a lot because I felt unsure of myself and, and whatnot. And obviously no one wants to give any sort of bad advice or anything, but now looking back, I, I kind of think, you know, I could have, I could have said more, or I could have been more confident, even though, you know, I didn't feel like I, I was in the right place to do that. But, um, you know, I think sometimes we hold ourselves back and I would say, don't hold yourself back, you know, trust, trust your gut. If you feel like you really need to say something to someone that you think is going to help them, uh, then, you know, go for it. Just put yourself out there and go for it. Mm, be confident in your skills and in your knowledge there. Thank you. That's, that's fantastic advice there. And one more time before I let you go, what was the name of the podcast and where can we find it again and your website? Oh yeah. So the podcast is breastfeeding talk, milk, motherhood mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, it's anywhere you want to listen to a podcast. So iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, uh, I, I Heart radio, whatever, everything. Uh, and my website is holisticlactation.com. So that's sort of the hub for everything. You can find the podcast on there. You can find more about my products, um, anything like that. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure sitting down here with you, chatting a little bit about what's going on in your practice and, of course, the upcoming presentation here at Gold. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. And for our viewers, this uh, presentation is part of the Translating Knowledge into Practice, Creating Effective Lactation Care Plans lecture pack, and it will be available starting March 29th. And if you would like to find out more about this amazing lecture pack, this, all the presentations in the lecture pack, we invite you to visit Gold Learning and goldlactation.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye-bye.